Okay, I just want to uh, show you guys kind of a spectrum of uh, bonding relative to, like bonding polarity relative to their difference in electronegativities, okay? So, if we have a spectrum, okay, we're going to write a bonding spectrum, and over here is, um, on one hand, nonpolar covalent. So no electronegativity <coughs> difference. And here we have ionic, so really ionic. So what we'll find is that there's this spectrum of different types of bonds. So at 0.0, .0 and this is all in device, okay, the units of electronegativity. So 0.0, .0 to about 0.4 device, all of these are your nonpolar <coughs> covalent bonds. Okay. So 0.4 is um, kind of a nice benchmark because that's your CH bond. Okay. And those are kind of oils, and oils we say are nonpolar. Okay. So anywhere from here to here, I want you to say nonpolar. Okay. So from 0.4 to 2.1, we have polar covalent bonds, okay? So these um, give rise to more strong um, van der Waals forces, okay? So um, intermolecular attraction. Or if you want to think of it, they have a bigger difference between the electronegativities of the two atoms that are um, the two bonding atoms. And then once you get to 2.1, then you're at ionic. So anything above 2.1 are all those salts um, and stuff like that, like sodium chloride or you know potassium bromide or something like that. Okay, so very big difference in electronegativity. Is everybody okay with this? So this is what we're talking about is difference in <coughs> electro okay. so to tell whether that bond is polar or not. Okay. Or ionic, you can go away. 